are very fortunate today to have with us two of the selectmen who are, sele I like to call them select people since I don't know Which if I one? consider Which Mr. Chico a selectman, a person. <laughs> Um, but um, they are, they're here to talk to us, and we got an added bonus. We um, also have the police chief, which all of you have met. Abbott. I have Abbott. 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 Some of you have had the opportunity. Some of you have had the opportunity to meet Chief Sylvia from the fire department. Yeah, I know. And. Another one of our selectmen, Mr. Sadak, is a third selectman, and he's not here today. So um, I want you to make sure that you listen very carefully to their answers, and don't repeat any. If you listen to the question, if you hear your question, don't ask that question. Try to ask a question that no one has asked before. And be good audiences. Can you do that for me? Yes. yes. Okay. Wow, you guys are already ready, huh? We're going to do something a little bit different this year. Um, when you have a question and you get called on, can you go to the microphone right here, okay? And just say your name and ask the question, okay? Because this is all going to be video, and you, you guys will be able to see it when you go home. And your parents will be able to see it, okay? On the TV? On the TV. On the cable channel. What channel? Nine. Ninety? Nine. Channel nine. Okay, the cable channel. You'll all be on the cable channel. You'll be superstars today. The other thing I'm going to ask you guys very quietly is to make sure, like Mrs. Briarly said, to listen to the question. And if you've heard your question before, think of another question. Okay? And you can't listen if you're talking. So you have to be really quiet and listen to the question. All right? So we're going to go one at a time, and I'm going to go first, and then I'm going to hand it to, to Mr. Bogdaner, and then we'll go right down the list. So I will pick you and the Boston Celtics. My name is Trevor. Hi, Trevor. What is a selectman? What is a selectman? A selectman is the town fathers or the town mothers, and what they do is they take care of the town. They oversee all of the departments. For a team, see we have some components of the team. We have the fire department and the police department. We also have the health department, the building department, a whole bunch of people all together, the highway department. They work, we work as a team, but in order to have a team, you kind of have to have a captain of the team, right? So we're kind of the captains of the team. Okay, thanks for your question. Anybody want? How about you in the back with the fish? Uh, there's a tree, that's you. My name is Marlon. How long do you work? Each day or a week, Ryan? The selectmen, in, the selectmen in the town are not full-time employees. We're elected employees, and there is really no specific amount of hours that we work. Sometimes it's a long week, sometimes it's a short week, but we meet often enough and discuss issues and little problems going on in the town and make decisions on how to solve them. But there's really no specific hours. All right, we'll stick with this side over here, this young lady in the orange. I'm Amelia. Hello. How do we help our school? Well, the Chico talked about being a team, and uh, as part of that team, the police department's responsibility is to patrol the area to make sure uh, people that are unwanted don't come into the school or come onto your playground. Additionally, you probably see a police car out in front of the, uh, the school very often. 
and the police officer there is running radar and doing traffic enforcement uh, to slow people down so they don't run over uh, a student or crash into a school bus. And then the fire department helps. The fire department conducts their inspections to make sure uh, there's no fire danger for you. So that's, uh, that's part of it. Okay, I'm over here. Right there in the um, wide green shirt, ladies. I'm Sierra. Hello there. Is it hard to work in the town? Is it hard to work in the town? No, it's really easy to work in the town. I consider it an honor to work in this town. I've been here all my life and there's nothing great in the record this time. Little girl in the park. Where do you work? What is your name? Canada. What is it? Anna. Anna. Hi, Emma. Where do I work? My real job? Or my selection job? My selection job, I work all over the town. Sometimes I'm in town hall. Sometimes I'm visiting the police department, sometimes I'm visiting the schools, sometimes I'm visiting the fire department. So our job is all over town. This young lady with a pretty pink dress on. Who's blushing? Hi, Megan. Hi, Megan. How are you? How did you get chosen to be a selectman? Pardon me? How did you get chosen to be a selectman? Well, there's a process where uh, it's an elected office, which means you have to run or campaign for it. And the people in Freetown elect you. So you can make the decision. You can make the decision. I think you have to be 18 to become a selectman. And you put together a campaign committee. And you go out and knock on doors and advertise and tell people you want to be a selectman. And then they have a big meeting called an election. And people vote who they want to be a selectman. Sometimes nobody runs against you, sometimes just three people. And if you're fortunate, they elect you. Does that answer it? Yeah. All right, we're going to go to the back. That gentleman uh, with the gray t shirt on. Can you repeat that, please? What is the town hallway? Oh, the town hall? I'll let the uh, selection no. describe the town hall. <laughs> oh, that was your question. <laughs> the town hall is an old building. The town that you live in is the third oldest community in the United States. It was incorporated in 1682. Way, way back. So being the third oldest community, we have an old building. And the town hall was built, I think, in 1882. So it's an old, old building, and it looks like an old building. Uh, we do what we can do to maintain it, and there's certainly uh, plans in place to replace it, hopefully one day. But it's an old building with offices that staff for several employees to help manage the country. It's an old white building, and you're welcome to come for a tour anytime. We'd love to have it. Okay, um, right up in front here. Hi, Matthew. What was the question again? How long can you be selected? How long can you be a selector? <laughs> as long as they like you. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I guess as long as you can't go with it, I guess. Yeah, we don't, there's sometimes called something that's a little bit of above, but it's called term limits. It means that you can only be something for a certain amount of time. Okay? Like, in baseball, you can only be like on a league for a certain amount of time until you have to go up to the next league. Well, it's kind of like that, but we don't have that in town. So we can be selectmen as long as people like you and you do the right thing. Okay? Go right ahead. Con. Why do you have this job? 
Why do I have this job? I have this job for many reasons. The first reason is because I feel like I want to help people. And I feel like I can help people. So that's why I like doing what I do, is because you can help many people. You can help school-aged children like yourselves by, um, by promoting the school budget. You can help the fire department by getting them newer equipment. You can help the police department by putting more men on the street. You can help the highway department by giving them the tools necessary to clean up the parks, mow the grass at um, the athletic fields. So I like doing all of those things. I like having the challenge to be able to do those things for you and for everybody in town. Thank you. But this young lady here in the pink and green and red. My name is Brooke. What is the most important issue in Freetown right now? I honestly can't say there's one issue more important than the rest because, as Lisa said, you have to look at all the departments and all the infrastructure of the town and make decisions based on what you think is best for that particular thing. Important now in the town, certainly education is important. We want to make sure everybody has a good education, but we also want to make sure we have a, a completely staffed fire department and police department. And we also want to make sure our buildings are maintained and uh, decisions like that that affect each and every one of us. So to say there's one important issue, I can't say there's one, but there's several things we look at all the time. Young lady with the white. My name is Dylan. Good afternoon. What made you want to do your job? When I was uh, a younger man, I was really interested in being a police officer. And then I volunteered uh, as an auxiliary police officer here in Freetown. And I really uh, got to enjoy what was involved in the job, helping people, arresting people. Uh, <laughs> I really enjoyed the job. It was fun. It is still fun. I love it. Uh, well, thank you for your question. Okay, the young man there in the gray shirt. How many hours do you work a week? How many hours do I work a week? Uh, well, I start usually at 6.30. At the fire station, I go home about 5 o'clock. So, I'm five. Okay. Oh. <laughs> what But what's important to remember is that if, if, if he leaves at 5 o'clock in the afternoon and there's a fire at 7 p.m. at your dinner time, he goes right back to work. So he really is working around the clock. Young man in the red. Oh, sorry. Sorry, me. Next time. My name is Andrew. Hello. What are the days you do being this morning? For the what? The daily things you do is being a selection. The daily things I do is being a selection. Some days are more crazy than another, right? Some days you have a big test, right? And you have to study for them. Some days you're just reviewing things in school, so you're okay. So daily my things changed. But what I do daily is, you see that young lady over there in the first seat right there with the blonde hair and the really red face because I'm just picking on her right now? She's the one that tells me what to do. She's our administrative assistant. Her name is Mrs. Gold. And she tells us what to do. So my, the first thing I do every day is call her. And then she gives me everything to do. So it might be, it might be chatting with the police chief. It might be uh, talking to the principal at the, at the school. Um, it might be signing warrants. Warrants are those things that pay the bills. If your parents pay bills, the town has to pay bills. So every day we do something a little bit different. But every day, I promise you, 
I call her. This young man with the Texas T-shirt. Wider than three times. Well, that's most of the world, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I do live in Freetown. Uh, I wasn't born in Freetown. I was born in New York. I took a job up here and uh, bought a house in Freetown. And I've been living here, I don't know, 18, 19 years. And I'm going to say this about this time we live in. I travel all over. I have international and national responsibilities. I've been all over the country. This is my favorite place in America to live, right here in Freetown. My name. I am Stephen Regeers. Well, nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> All right, let's try uh, third row, the young man with the gray shirt on. As you probably have you been out in the forest at all? It's about 4,000 acres, uh, a lot of dirt roads. At one time, uh, prior to World War II, a bunch of young men known as the Civilian Conservation Corps helped clear those roads, cut down trees. Um, it was about 4,000 square acres, um, and uh, a lot of people hiked, walked their dogs horseback riding, um, and other recreational activities. A lot of things happen there. Good at that. Okay, the young man in the orange. Sometimes we do. Sometimes it takes a fire truck to help hold the equipment into it. And um, yeah, we pick a lot of stuff ourselves. About three or four miles. That was a good question. You stumped the panel. How about this young lady in the yellow dress? A pretty yellow dress, by the way. Thank you. My name is Abby. Hi, Abby. What day? Do you take care of historical places? Do you take care of historical things, was it? Oh yes, we do. The town that we try to uh, maintain historical buildings, but we also have a historical society in town that we work close with. That is a separate uh, organization, and they're dedicated to preserving things in Freetown, old buildings, old equipment, and things like that. It's an interesting place to visit. But we also have an historic commission along with the society that give us guidance on how to maintain old buildings and uh, help us with funding and things like that. Did that answer your question? Okay, good. We'll go to the back row. Uh, young lady, right there. Hello. My name is Kayla. Hi. Do, do you tell people that are uh, doing something bad, what to do? Yes, yeah, so all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello
you know, some, sometimes it might be a, a traffic ticket where a warning is given out, and, and that warning is hopefully corrects the driver's behavior, so they're not speeding or, or committing an infraction in the future. Other times we give verbal warnings to people to say, hey, what you're doing isn't right, you need to change. It's, it's like your classroom, I'm sure your teachers give you warnings, I'm sure your teachers tell you uh, when you're doing something wrong, and I know they tell you when you're doing something right. So that's kind of what we do, only uh, we do it out in a public forum rather than in a school. <laughs> okay, um, and lay the blue coat in the back. I've been working on a daily basis. We have two members on staff, and we have a whole bunch on call. A little follow up on that. You have some families in this town that bought the original land that was for sale in 1643. And the same families have been living in that land for two or three hundred years. But anyway, this gentleman in the green shirt. Yes. Okay, so we're many jobs did I have before I became a selectman? Well, I used to manage a standard time newspaper, a uh, press room, that was one, drove a trailer truck, two, I don't know, maybe four or five, but the last one I had for 28 years, so, and I retired from that, that's when I got into being a selectman. Yes, we get paid and we get uh, uh, equipment issued to us, handcuffs, gun belts, guns. Uh, we get some money to buy clothing uh, and uniforms. Uh, so we do get paid. Okay, right here in the front. My name is Canada. Do you get, um, do people say they're married when you help them? One more time. Do, you, do people say they're married when you help them? at times so all people can see it, whether you wear glasses or not glasses, whether you're older, whether your eyesight is good or bad or 
So the street signs need to be changed. Those are one of the reasons why street signs need to be changed. So the font can change as well. Also, I think they're highlighted a little bit so at night they're easier to see. So no, I don't I don't think that it was a waste of money. Thank you. You're very welcome. This young girl here with a green shirt. That's you. Turquoise green. Camera. Don't be afraid. <laughs> okay, how about this gentleman here? Emma, think about it and we'll get maybe you can come up the next time. Okay? My name is Michael. Do you owe any services in Freetown? Do I owe any services? Yeah, I do not. I do not own any services in Freetown. I retired from what I was doing, and I just, uh, I volunteer for the Department of Homeland Security and a few things like that, but uh, don't own any services, no. members on the police department? There are uh, 17 full-time police officers. There are seven part-time police officers. And we have four auxiliary police officers who are volunteers. There are four full-time dispatchers that answer your 911 calls. And there are about seven part-time dispatchers. And the part-time people fill in for the full-time people when the full-time people are out sick or on vacation like that. Okay, the young man in the black shirt. What do you organize in free town? What do I organize? I organize the, the fire department. I make sure we have a uh, set number of personnel vehicle fires and I make sure the apparatus is good to go and is a mercy. I also maintain the uh, emergency medical services for the town. Didn't you just do something in town uh, with like a meet and greet or you came to look at the fire apparatuses? The touch of truck over here? To yeah. yeah. So he does do a lot of that stuff, you know, to, to bring it to schools or to have them. You, you guys were just at the FYAA, who's in the Freetown Youth Athletic Association. Did you see all the police trucks and the fire trucks there? He does that kind of stuff too, so you guys can become familiar with the um, fire equipment that we have in town. So he does a lot more, he's just shy. Anybody shy here? Will you, will, if I pick on you, will you ask your question now? Come on up. No, no, you can come in. Come on. It's all good. All right, you can stay right there. Go ahead. What's your question? Do you take your responsibility seriously? I take my responsibility very seriously because there's consequences if you don't take your your job seriously, right? If you don't get a good grade, do you take your test very seriously? You don't know? Ooh. See, there are consequences if you don't take your test very seriously. Just like I have to take my job very seriously, there are there are about 9,000 people that live in the town of Freetown. And we're responsible for 9,000 people. So we want to make sure that we're doing the best job that we can. The little girl with the blue uh, whatever it is on your hair. I mean, the nice young lady. My name is Nancy. Hey. Good. How do they make me a collection? It's very interesting uh, being a selectman. Uh, I had 
no uh, political experience until I became a selectman. So a, it's a learning curve, but it's interesting because every day you can literally make decisions that affect your life, his life, and my life, and your teacher's life. So a lot of thought goes into it. You find yourself thinking about it all day, and you find yourself thinking about it in the evening because you always want to make the right decision. And the right decision is what's good for everybody. So it is interesting. Young lady in the blue sweatshirt. My name is Callie. Hi, Callie. Did your dog ever get stressful? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, there's, there's different types of stress. Um, you know, we only have so much money in the police budget, and we have to watch that carefully. Um, so there are, there are demands to fill shifts with men or supplies to be purchased. And at times when it doesn't look like it might be enough money, you get a little stressed out. What all my gray hairs, you know, hairs from the stress. Um, and there are other times where you're dealing with people who may have um, uh, some issues, medical issues, and they might want to uh, try to harm you because they don't know any better. And that's stressful because you don't want to hurt them and you don't want to be hurt. Um, and then there are other times when you might have to drive a police car uh, fast. And that's stressful because you don't want to crash the car or hurt anyone. So yeah, there's, there's some stressful times. I'm sure that you all have stressful times too. Uh, studying for a test, right? Sure. In the morning, getting ready for school, if you're running a little late, a little stressful, right? It's stressful, I don't know, Okay, the young man in the black t-shirt, way in the back. My name is Kale. How many years have you been selectman? Well, I've been fire chief for, for five years, I've been a firefighter for 32. Carlton, how long have you been the police chief? This is my 16th year as the chief of police. 16? A year and a half as a selection. Nine years. Yeah, wow. She's old, huh? You look like you're 36. I like you. <laughs> This little girl is jumping up and down. Do we have a question? Yay! Hi, my name is Lucy. Too many meetings. Actually, we have scheduled meetings every month. We like to meet twice a month on Monday. And um, Mondays, then we have other meetings in between when things happen, plus you have meetings that you go to with department heads and emergency meetings and things like that. But I'm going to guess uh, on average probably four or five a week. company in town uh, went to the military base where the helicopter had been located and drove it several hundred miles back here to Freetown. And I don't think that trucking company charged the town anything. And I also understand that uh, the company painted the helicopter as well and didn't charge the town. 
So I, I don't think there were any costs to obtaining the helicopter. Okay, my other front. Logan, are you doing fireworks this year? I believe we are on fireworks. We're definitely doing the fireworks this year. Yeah. July 3rd? July 3rd. July 3rd. Who's going to the fireworks? All right. Okay. Oh, time, time, time. Time. Okay. How many have not answered, I had a question to ask? Okay. Sorry, I'll get you next time. My name is Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Did you first like your job when you started? I was really nervous. You know, like when you, when you first start school and you're really nervous and you don't know anybody, you don't know if you're going to ask the right question or the wrong question, you're free to raise your hand. So yeah, of course I was nervous. That's just normal. That's natural. The more you do it, the more you get used to it, the more you get used to it, the more you're comfortable. Definitely nervous, so. though. This young gentleman here in the blue shirt. Saying finally. <laughs> you get benefits. Actually, the selectmen don't get any benefits. Uh, we're the only town employees that don't. With it, now that we don't get benefits, the selectmen are the lowest paid people because it's a part-time position with zero benefits, nothing. complicated because you have to run for elections and that takes a lot of time and you have to campaign. But you have to live in Freetown and want to be a selectman and go for it. All the way in the back in the corner. I am Dave. Um, 
was a long time, I would say probably about uh, 15 years. You start out at the bottom like anybody else as a volunteer, and then you move up to a part-time officer, then you move up to a, a full-time officer, and then there, there are interviews and tests for the police chief's position. So it's important uh, that you prepare and study for those, just like you study for your test, right? Everybody studies for their tests? Right? Very important. It takes, well, let me just put it in concept here. How long does it take you uh, for you until you graduate high school? About, about 12 years, right? And then adding kindergarten and preschool in there. So that's about 14 years. So as long as it takes you to go to graduate is as long as it takes to become a police chief. That's a long time. Okay, the young lady in the purple. Good afternoon. My name is Ava. Hi, Ava. Do you have to tell what other jobs do? Do I have to tell what other jobs do? Do you have other jobs too? Oh, yes. I have a lot of jobs. Do you be, being a paramedic? Being a, fire, being a fire chief? No. Do you have to tell what other jobs do? What do you have to tell other people? Oh, yeah. That's what I do. I tell people what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm Samantha. Hi, Samantha. If you could do one thing to improve the town, what would it be? If I could do one thing to improve the town, just one? Hmm. That is a really hard question. And in the nine years I've been doing that, no one's ever asked me that before. Um, if I could do one thing to improve the town, it would take, what, what we're doing now is studying all the buildings, it's called a feasibility study. It's, it's a big word for just making sure that all the buildings are in, are up, to, up to code and up to par, if you'd like them. So if I could do one thing in town, it would take that feasibility study that's going to tell us what buildings need improvement and carry that out. What that means is, if the feasibility study says that the town hall and the police department need to be need to have new buildings, that's what I would want to do. Thank you. This guy right here, number ninety-four. You. Yep. Uh, do you go into the forest and see if things are going all right? Oh, absolutely. I'm an avid hiker. I probably hike, if I can, six, eight, maybe ten miles a week. So I spend time in a free town forest. I like to take my dogs for hikes in the forest. I mean, around the Absalomses ponds and all the other I find that very interesting to do. It's one of my favorite occupations, actually. How about this young lady in the striped shirt? Yep. Right, sure. Right. We'll get you the next time. Do you have a lot of power over the town? I don't. I don't think I have power over the town. Um, that's a good question. Um, we we have as much power as the people of the town let us have. We have as much power as the law allows us to have, and we have as much power as the, the judges in the courts allow us to have. Um, so we, we have our own laws, we have laws we have to follow. Uh, that's, a, that's a good question. And my name is Caroline. Hi. Okay, way back here on page. Sandra. And do you think um, the 
angel and make it a beautiful place? Well, we should probably help out, but it's not really, it's actually owned by the state. State of Massachusetts owned it. We can help out, and we'd like to see it improved. Maybe the selectmen can get a hold of somebody at the state level to improve that for you. Okay, who hasn't had an opportunity? Go ahead. My name is Taylor. Um, do you sort of work for the government? Yes, we do. We work for the government. Thank you. We all work for the government. Anybody here hasn't had a chance to use them? about a decision that's had, that has to be made in maybe weeks or days or hours. <laughs> Making the right decision and going home and having a cup of tea and saying, you know, I finally did the right thing. In my heart of hearts, I think I did the right thing, something that's good for everyone. And that's the best part of being a celebrity. Thank you. Thank you. charge of the schools. You, you would have your teachers are in charge of the classrooms and the principal is in charge of this school and then you would have a superintendent in charge of all of the schools in the district. Okay. Ms. Akshar. iPads, that type of thing, uh, because we want to be paperless because having paper costs the town a lot more money. So we try to do things as efficiently as we can. Some of the computers and things we all take for granted we have. All right, we're going to do one more question for each of us, and then we're going to wrap it up, okay? So, oh, oh, finally. Hunter. Hunter, hello. Do you need I personally don't get to construct buildings, but like I was just talking about a little while ago, we could see some construction going on in town. We could see a new town hall. We could see a new police department. So that would be kind of awesome because we do need those things in town. So we would be in charge of hiring somebody to do the construction. Do you own a construction business? No, okay. Guy and they put you. That's you. Get up. Hello. What's the population of people who work at the town hall? I would guess about 40, give or take one or two. Thank you. with the red t-shirt. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Saving the best for last. Okay. <laughs> one, two, What's your favorite place to have a profile rock or a drink? Stuff like that. My favorite place in Freetown is Hathaway Park. What's your favorite place in Freetown? Probably a profile rock, 
Um, the young lady. What? Oh, my name is Luke Petty. I almost forgot to tell you that. <laughs> young lady, just write a shirt over there. What goes on in town? A lot of stuff goes on in town. Sounds like a big beehive. It's constantly moving all the time and people are doing things. We have construction going on, we have uh, people in school, people at work, a lot of stuff. I'm okay. I just want to thank you guys. You all have been very cooperative, very quiet, and very attentive, and I just want to thank you so much. And I hope that we answered all of your questions. Thank you. See you at the fireworks. Thank you very much.